Here's another example. Example two, I want you to find the indicated measures for each circle. In this first one, I want you to find the length of arc RT. So not the degrees, because we already know that's 75, but the length of arc RT. You're given RS is 9 yards, and measure of angle RLT is 75. Then in part B, you're going to find the circumference of circle N, where arc, the large arc UV, is 61.26 meters, and the angle is 270 degrees. So try these on your own first. Ooh, C, we do have a part C. Find the radius of circle P, where you're given an arc length of 10.5 feet and an arc measure of 150 degrees. So try these on your own first, and then resume when you're ready to check your solution. Okay, for this first one, my, rate, my diameter is 9 yards, which means circumference is pi times d, pi times 9, which I'm going to round to be 28.274 yards. Then I'm going to take 75 over 360, so the degrees over the total degrees equals the arc length, so the length of RT over the circumference, which is 28.274. Again, cross multiply, I get 75 times 28.274, which gives me 2120.55, equals the length of RT times 360. To find the length of RT, I'm going to divide both sides by 360. So I get 2120.55 divided by 360 gives me 5.89 yards. For part B, I want to find the circumference. I know I have 270 out of a possible 360 degrees, and that the arc length is 61.26 meters, I'm looking for circumference. I cross multiply, I get 270 times C equals 360 times 61.26, which is 22053.6. To solve for C, I divide both sides by 270, and I find that the circumference is 81.68 meters. And then lastly, I want to find the radius of P. To find this, I actually need to do two steps here. I need to find the circumference first. So I'm going to say I have 150 degrees out of a total 360. This equals an arc length of 10.5 feet over the circumference. Cross multiply, I get 150C equals 360 times 10.5, which is 3780. To solve for C, I divide both sides by 150. I get C equals 25.2 feet. Now I know that the circumference is 2 pi r, so to solve for r I take the circumference divided by 2 pi. You could also just plug in the circumference here, get 25.2 equals 2 pi r. r equals 25.2 over 2 pi, which is approximately 4.011 feet. And that's the necessary radius for the circle. So all of this section is just making you realize that this ratio of degrees to 360 is going to be the same as the ratio of the arc length to the entire circumference. This is a really important idea here, being able to look at a fraction of a circle and that no matter what we do, when we cut out this slice, everything about this slice stays in the same ratio. The arc length, the area, the degrees, everything stays in the same ratio. And this is going to be important for next section as well.